exatamente aqui que eu peguei. Tava aqui, né? Não. Tava aqui? Não. Não, tava aqui. Eu... Tá, eu tava aqui. Eu tava aqui, não tava. tava. Aí a gente vai pra cá. Completa ali os quebra-cabeças ali. Eu não lembro agora que eu tenho um para que eu tinha visto no outro mapa ali que também tem que interagir. Eu tava pensando outra coisa aqui que não tava dando certo. Por aqui desce. Hum, não, não peixe. Perdão. Vamos lá. Ah. Aqui em cima não tem nada não. Isso aqui eu já terminei, né? Não, eu terminei. Eu tô passando esses bichos ali. Eu moro pra matar. Não, pro outro lado, cara. É, completei tudo isso aqui. Completar 30. Ah, vamos ver as mensagens. Oh, isso aqui não é mensagem não. Isso aqui que é mensagem. Eita, até uma mensagem da Tim. O que foi? Você sabe. Ah. Hum. Eu tenho que prestar atenção no trabalho, filho. Ai, ai.
Não é exceção do trabalho, filho. Trabalhar? Ô, Sam, o que foi? Ela tá, 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 tá bem? Tá. Ah, hoje em dia... E eu tanto ela? Eu tava com ela ou o quê? <risos> Já desistiu. Uh. É... Não, ela ainda tá muito ocupada. Não, 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 não combinando a mesma frase não, filho. Eu vou cobrar, hein, filho. Eu vou cobrar, hein. Fala. Ah, tranquilo, manda mais aí que a gente a gente faz ah... eu prefiro eu não boto, não falo um pouco mais assim parece ah, tá bom fizado eu sei que o povo gosta meu isso é um Acabou. Já acabou, não sei nem mais o que eu tava falando. Cara, eu não tava aqui pra ir embora. Eu acho que tem a missão ali do. O outro ali. Iarimba. Na estação espacial. Oh, vou botar. Hum? Aí. Eu falei, cara, aqui. Fala aí, campeão. Fala aí, Xingi. O que foi? Como, foi? Como é que foi o manuscrito aí? Como é que tá o manuscrito aí? Uh, cara, seu mestre era um, uh, era um gênio. Tô, 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 tô. Cara, tô, tô desaparecendo que eu tô ajudando minha, uh, meus filhos com o dever de casa. Urrui. Uh. Agradeço. Era só isso. Ainda tem essa daqui para eu... eu pedi para vir aqui no planeta. Tem mais uma aqui com. Ah, é. Enfim, vamos continuar a história aqui. Já me perdi aqui o que eu tava fazendo. Uh, mensagem. Tô indo. Já vou. Já uh... There's inspiration in every glance and every breeze. Oh, wait. I say so poor thing. Ah, uh, you're back. From the sound of your stride, I sense you're in good spirits. Você pode dizer só para só para ouvir. The fall reveals a lot about their strength and emotions, much like how a person's breath may serve as an indication of their overall health. Let's get down to business. I analyzed the prescription you procured, the draft of Draconic Surge. Now that I have a preliminary conclusion, it needs to be delivered to the seat of divine foresight. You got the conclusion? Not the number. The conclusion. Put simply, I don't believe that the draft of Draconic Surge holds the cure to the Mara. Even in the foreseeable future, there will likely not be any such cure. I've compiled the details into a written analysis. If you're interested, feel free to take a look. This is a copy of pharmacological studies on the draft of Draconic Surge. If the Chief Counselor wants to see it urgently, I'll have to ask you to deliver it for me.
Uhum. É por aqui, ah, por aqui mesmo. Ou tá por baixo. Aí, show. Eu tenho que, eu tenho que ir lá em cima. Lá em cima, posso ir? Opa, opa. Nossa senhora. É aqui, Enzo. É aqui. Uau. Even for those alchemists. That was fast. Ah, faz um isso que ajudou. Wait. Why would the Alchemy Commission's chief alchemist be away from her post? I've heard that the chief alchemist is visually impaired. She rarely leaves the Alchemy Commission delve. She has a vast knowledge and expertise. No wonder she was able to analyze the pharmacology so quickly. Let me see her report. Okay. No cure? <sighs> Where did these villains get their hands on such a complex prescription? This is infuriating. Still, this is a clue we can follow. Thank you. Please accept these gifts for your efforts. Valeu. Please, take them. You've done so much for the Lafu, for the Sienjo. This is the least I could do. Eu tô indo. Tô chegando. Que ambrosial arbor. Thank you for coming on such short notice. Eu posso ajudar. My stay in Exalting Sanctum was supposed to be focused on treating people and delivering medicine. But the seat of divine foresight tasked me with analyzing the prescription. I've been severely delayed. I've already concocted some of the medicine in question, but there can't be any further delays. Could you assist me in ensuring it arrives on time? My colleagues were supposed to handle the deliveries, but now healers are needed everywhere. I can't count on them to do it. I thought long and hard, but I realized I had no choice but to ask you. Perhaps you could see it as repaying a favor? Yeah. The patient in question is a little girl. If she's gotten into any trouble, be sure to let me know when you get back. This is the medicine. Her house is near the Court of Tranquility. It shouldn't be hard to find her. Is this the one Don Shu sent me to find? Does she come here to treat other sightless people? Hello. She's stuck! <laughs> she can't get down! Hey, what you looking at, Outworlder? Mind your own business! Oh, Dom. Uh. Uh. I think you are. Keep your nose out of this. I beat people up all the time. Vem só, Fê. Vem só. Lost. Stop meddling Vem só, pra ver se eu não enfio o ult da... Sei lá no... Uh. Uh. Mars! Uh, stop yelling and help me up already. They use some kind of hidden power. I saw it. You're a cheater. 
That's right. If you hadn't cheated, I would have knocked your lights out. You sure about that, boss? They didn't even flinch. Ugh, shut up! Boss, let's get out of here. We shouldn't fight anyone that doesn't respect martial arts. <laughs> I'll let you off the hook this time. Next time we fight fair and square. Yeah! <sighs> Thank you for helping me, miss. Nada. Tá, você tá bem? Okay. It's my fault. I shouldn't have wandered off on my own. Then I wouldn't have run into those guys. And they always laugh at me for being blind. And they like to trip me up and steal my things. <laughs> Thank goodness you were here. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me off so easily. Então, aqui, ó, o Dan Shu mandou isso daqui pra você. Dan Shu asked you to come? Things are bad on the law fill recently. Dan Shu must be very busy. Thank you, miss. Remember to thank her for me. Why does she wander about alone? <sighs> well, I've delivered... The Ambrosial Arbor. I don't know. Did you deliver the medicine? Yeah. Entregue. She reminds me of myself when I was a child. I also had to find my way in the dark, face obstacles I couldn't predict. As well as deal with unconscious prejudices people had against me. If I was ever injured by bullies or after a fall, I'd run crying to the healers at the Alchemy Commission and ask them to heal me. I suppose that's why I followed in their footsteps, to pay a little kindness forward. Thank you for looking after the child. Could I ask you for another favor, friend? Opa, você não está preocupado sobre ela? Yes. I worry about her wandering around on her own. And I want to know what's been on her mind lately. Her parents passed away in the denizens of abundance wars. The relatives who took her in aren't close to her. And whenever I treat her, she often confides in me. A healer's medicine might remedy one's physical health. But sometimes, the loneliness and hurt inside one's heart needs companionship mm -hmm. and care to heal. Uh, she told me that whenever she's feeling troubled, she finds a quiet corner in the Artisanship Commission and just sits there, letting the sounds wash over her. Her parents used to be artisans in the Commission. So I think she has some nostalgic connection to the place. In all likelihood, that's where she'll be. <sighs> There's danger around every corner these days, especially for a sightless child. Let's go. What's happening? Is the girl in trouble? <laughs> Help! <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Yeah. 
This song's for you. Keep up! You won't get away. It's all right. Everything's okay now, Xiao Yu. <laughs> Thank you, big sister. Thank you, Don Chu. You don't need to be scared anymore. She is here. But I... When I think about all the trouble I've caused you two, I feel like such a burden. I'm sorry. Is that why you're crying? <sighs> Maybe you should start getting used to this feeling. Because... In the next few centuries, visually impaired people like us will continue to require help from everyone we meet. So, if a little bit of guilt like this is enough to break your heart, then how will you manage such an arduous path? Mm. Not sure. I'm not trying to console her. This is the reality. Walking alone in the darkness, fearing every incoming, invisible obstacle, unable to understand other people's descriptions. Everyone, everything is like a hot coal in the dark. Invisible, yet still able to burn you. As a long life species, she can expect life to continue like this for nearly a thousand years. She must learn to depend upon herself rather than just foolishly waiting around for the next hero to swoop in and save her. Mm. You don't sell that yes. at By trying my best to change her personal circumstances. Oh, well, she, in the meantime... Yeah. She'll have to learn to withstand the darkness. Just as I have. Hey, you're right, Don Chu. From now on, I'll do my best to rely on myself. Good. I hope you remember this. Forever. This place is too dangerous. Let's head back to Exalting Sanctum. Thank you again, for all you've done. It would seem we incomplete ones are often bullied from a tender age. I endured in numerous hardships to become Chief Alchemist. Yet, there are still things that leave me feeling helpless. That's the reason I said what I said. You might mistake my words for being hurtful. But the truth is, no amount of words can prepare her for what lies ahead. Don't think what I know. Long life species, these things are permanent. Whether we are beautiful or ugly, tall or short, wise or foolish, all of it is encoded into our flesh from the moment we are born. The impairments of short life species can be corrected with ingenia or surgery. But that's an impossibility for Sienjo natives. No matter the method employed, how our bodies will eventually return to their original states. I too was once a non believer. I fooled myself into acquiring artificial eye implants. Soon thereafter, my sightless eyes began to regenerate, and I was left in pain and despair. That brief window of sight that I regained has turned into a perpetual source of anguish, forever etched into my mind. For long life species, this incompleteness is a permanent, unavoidable tenance. <laughs> What a joke. 
even the denizens of abundance. So-called abominations needn't endure such torture. Perhaps we incomplete ones are merely traitors, cursed by the plague's author. It's nothing. Forget I said anything. Thank you for sticking with me through all of this. I think my aspirations in Exalting Sanctum have been met for now. Oh, I have a gift for you. Though I'll need a little time to prepare it. I'll contact you once it's ready to collect. See you soon, friend. Don Shu needs more time to prepare my gift. There's nothing pressing right now. Why not head over to Spare Time Bookshop for a while? Yeah. I don't know, but I should have to. I am. What's up, bro? Bit that so much faster than that. If people more doing them. Hmm. Eu comprei todos os livros. Já. Yeah. Eu quero, eu vou ler uns livros aí que é pra passar o tempo, sabe? Go right ahead. Mr. CN said that making bookworms feel at home is more important than getting them to buy something. All we ask is that you find a quiet spot away from the browsing areas. Ai. Hum, uma mensagem. Ah, já vou. <risos> já vou. Ah, parece que a pessoa que estava esperando por nós foi em contato. Safe travels. Oh, ah, uh, maybe buy a book next time? There you are, friend. You've been running so many errands lately. I'd like for you to take some useful items away with you. Wow. Oh. Examining the exhibits in the Seat of Divine Foresight inspired me to create this. I referenced some historical texts and concocted a medicine that can extend your lifespan and improve your health. I call it the Broomdew Concentrate Pellet. And I'd like you to have it. Consuming it will make your body light, agile, and promote longevity and well-being. As a nameless, it'll make your journey a much less arduous one. Well then, that's that. I've still got some other business to attend to, so shall we say goodbye for now? Perhaps the next time we meet, I'll be able to see you in the true sense of the word. Hmm. Tastes a bit strange, but no adverse reaction so far. Wait a minute. Oh, my head. What's happening? <laughs> Something's wrong. I'm burning up. Ooh. Feels like I can't breathe. <laughs> <sighs> Seems to be calming down. Yeah, yeah, <sighs> but still uncomfortable. This doesn't seem right. I'd better talk to Ching Zhu at the Seat of Divine Foresight. Ooh. 